all right good day and welcome to today's construction class my name remains Ulua Tumbi Blessing Olalekon, the founder of Michael Tech. All right, so for today, we will be looking into the concept of machine drawing, and I will be producing the object on the screen. Yeah, the name of the object on the screen is a locating bracket, a locating bracket, all right? So I'm going to be producing this object in first angle orthographic projection, in first angle orthographic projection. And we will be taking our front view from the direction of the arrow. Yeah, from the direction of that arrow, which is towards this area. Okay, so taking a very good look at that object on the screen. If we are producing it in first angle, then our end view, which is from this axis, will be what's placed right here. Our front view will be here, and our plan view will be what's under our front view. So before we proceed, let us project our orthographic place okay our orthographic place okay so the very first thing we're producing right here is our our vertical line so as to put our our orthographic plane our vertical line in this order right here towards the top okay then we'll be producing an horizon our horizontal line right here Okay, so as you all know, to arrange our objects properly, so from this midpoint right here, okay, I'm going to take uh, the mark of 10, 10, okay, 10 to the top and what's 10 mm to the bottom, and I'm going to watch project them out. Okay, projecting the orthographic place. What's the next thing to do? The next thing is to produce our front view, first of all. Taking our front view from the direction of that arrow. Okay, so the diameter of the uh, cylindrical part we have at the bottom is diameter what? Diameter 80. Diameter 80. Okay, so with that being diameter 80, so I'm going to pick my ruler from this edge right here. I measure 80. Which is the diameter of that? Okay, diameter 80 radius 40 radius 40. I measure the mark of what 40 also. Okay, so looking at that extension towards uh, our right hand side, right there. Okay, we have uh, from the center of this mark of 80. But before we do that, let me first of all uh, project these marks. First of all, this right here. That's mark of 40 this right here that's mark of what 80. so looking at the question from the center of this mark of 40 towards the center of the uh circle of radius 20 right here i'm having distance of what 66 so from this center i measure mark of what 66 which is what this right here okay after the mark of 66 from this end here i measure mark of what mark of uh 20 which is what which is this so i'm going to project each of those points vertically yeah i'm going to project them vertically okay vertically in that order all right so after doing that what is the next procedure the next procedure for me is to first of all draw that cylindrical part okay so from this base right here okay i'm going to pick mark of what 40 upwards this is the mark of what 40 right here so having that mark of 40 i'm going to project that horizontally horizontally i'm having what this right here okay having projected horizontally all i need to do is pick my compass all right from this midpoint extend it to either this line right here okay or this line right here so i'm going to want to produce this cylinder as you can see you can see that it touches both the bottom and the uh, vertical lines it is just tangential to those lines you can see that this circle is tangential to this line tangential to this and tangential to this which shows that what we are doing is what is absolutely correct okay so inside of it we are told you have another circle or cylinder of diameter what diameter 50 diameter 50 the radius will be what radius of 25 so picking my ruler i measure radius 25 which is this okay with radius 25 
from this same midpoint i want i produce this right here i produce this right here okay so what is the next thing for us to do what is the next thing for us to do okay so having a very good look at that object the thickness of the web going up here the thickness of those waves are thickness of what 12 okay so from this line here i measure mark of what 12 right there then from this i measure mark of 12 inwards mark of what 12 inwards so each of those marks i am going to project them vertically i'm going to project them vertically just like this okay yeah right here you see thin line thin line with your thin continuous line all your continuous thin line okay after projecting them vertically what is the next procedure what is the next procedure the next procedure is this the next procedure is this okay so we are told that the height from the midpoint of this to the midpoint of that uh cylindrical part yeah that arc right here of radius 20. we are told that the height from this center to that area is what 76. okay so 76 plus 20. 76 plus 20 that's what that is 96. so from this center here from the center of this circle i'm going to measure 96 upward okay so this is mark of 96 right here okay from that mark of 96 from the top i'm going to measure mark of what uh 20 downwards which is this this is what 20. okay i have that right there so i'm going to project those two points horizontally i'm going to project them horizontally so first of all this comes here okay then secondly this comes right here okay so after that what do i do what do i do i'm going to uh pick up my ruler okay i'm going to pick this and what join this right here like this okay this also right here join it down here like this this also right here join it down here like this then this also from here i'm going to pull it downwards like this okay then i'm going to what enclose this area right here then this down to this area here so that is what settled that is settled so the next thing for us is we just get is to get the extension sitting right here so do not forget that from this midpoint right here okay to this mark here is what is that uh 66 then tracing it upward mark of 20 right here so from this junction from this junction right here okay i'm going to what pick my compass place it right at this junction extend my pencil either to this area here or to this area here, which is what absolutely the same and i'm going to what project it this way you see that please be careful with your compass i'm going to what project it that way as you can see on the screen right there projecting it that way okay after projecting it that way we are told that uh we have uh a cantabo yeah a cantabo hole of diameter 25 okay a cantabo of diameter 25 diameter 25 radius is what 12.5 picking my compass i measure mark of what 12.5 which is this mark of 12.5 which is this coming right here i would i draw this first circle okay yeah i draw this first circle right here okay so i'm having a drill an internal of diameter 16 that will be radius what radius 8 so this radius 8 with radius 8 coming to the same center i would i draw this circle as you can see on the screen as you can see on the screen right here then after doing that I'm going to pick my t square okay i'm going to project this point here tangentially right here so i'm going to draw it horizontally project horizontally right there do you see that so each of my circle here i'm going to project them tangentially to the was to the horizontal plane also okay like this i'm coming 
Yeah, this right here, horizontally like that. Okay, this right here, horizontally like that. Okay, so this right here, horizontally like that. All right, so this right here, horizontally like that. Do you see? So likewise, I'm going to do the same thing on the what on the vertical plane on the vertical plane each of my uh, cylindrical parts. So I'm going to start from uh, this here, this okay vertical plane. I'm having this right here, okay, followed by this. I'm having this right here, okay, followed by this. I'm having this tangentially down. Project it with what with thin line. This downward okay so having this also downward to the bottom then this also having it that way i'm having it what this way okay after doing all of that i'm going to pick my ruler and what join this area down here now you see then what join this area tangentially down here so that is our what our complete front view right there on the screen that's our complete front view of the what of the locating bracket okay right now what's left for you is what produced was the plan and the first angle the plan sits directly under the what under the front view okay so how do we take the data of our plan okay looking at that looking at that object on the screen okay so from the top there you see mark of 12 after mark of 12 is what mark of what 38 okay looking at the bottom part right here i'm seeing mark of what mark of uh 58 which means the total thickness of our object is mark of what mark of 58 so the very first dimension i'm going to pick is from here yeah so this area downward mark of 58 this is mark of what 58 right here I'm going to mark that on that vertical plane right there. Okay, so I'm going to pick this mark of 12 from here, mark of 12, this is it right here. Then I'm going to pick mark of what? Mark of 38, 30, 35, 6, 7, this mark of what? 38 right here. So each of those marks, I will project them what? Horizontally, horizontally. This, like this, this, like this this like this so after getting that now let's bring out our what our views so the very first part i'm going to pick right here is uh this okay yeah i'm going to pick this okay i'm going to pull it down you need to be careful okay like this all right i'm having that now that i'm having this up to this level right here yes i am very correct yeah to this level right here i'm having it this way like this as you can see on the screen right there okay so i'm having yeah here to here is a mark of what mark of 38 okay so I'm having this right here. I'm having this right here. Okay. After that, I'm having this right here. Okay. I'm having this right here to this junction here like this okay that way then i'm going to bring this down here okay and i'm having this right here okay i'm having this right here can you see that okay so i'm having the whole of this right here then I'm having this like this right here. Okay, so this also is what's hidden on the plan here. So this will be what? Yeah, 
this first hole here that all of them that 25 the depth is what depth of five so coming right here with my ruler from this edge i'm going to measure mark of what mark of five so this is the mark of five right there that mark of five i'm going to project it horizontally okay horizontally which is this right here so after projecting the horizontal again i'm going to do this right now eating eating then what eating okay likewise this is true like this eating and this is what eating so that is for this area which is what settled as you can see on the screen okay now coming back here this area extends down here like this okay so then they join each other right here like that can you see that okay okay so that is that right there then this hole which is this here okay it is hidden it is hidden on this okay so going to do it this way which is it right here can you see the benefit of our projection okay that is the benefit of what of our projection and i'm going to what do you see that and right here also you see that so that is that about that that's our object right there that's our object right there okay so this is what the complete plan view this is the complete plan view so what's next is to what is to get our what our NV, which is what's going to be sitting here so how do we do that how do we do that i'm going to pick my angle 45 degrees set square okay so sitting right here to the center you know first vertical second vertical third vertical first horizontal second horizontal third horizontal so second vertical second horizontal this is their point of what intersection which is what this so from this junction i'm going to draw at 45 degrees okay which is this like this okay then i'm going to draw outwards like that you see that so then what's the next procedure this is the next procedure wherever our line inclined line of 45 degree intersects with the horizontal line at this bottom i'm going to project it upward it intersects this one here projecting it upward okay it intersects this one right here so i'm going to what project it upwards it which one does it intersect again it intersects this right here projecting it upward then it intersects this right here also projecting it what upwards okay so i think that's all yeah that is all so what's the next thing to do the next thing to do is to produce our what our end view our end view okay we already have the width of our end view so i don't need to start uh measuring again so the very first thing i'm going to do is me joining this bottom first of all like this from here down here yeah that's the first thing first of all okay after doing that so the next thing is oh i need to project this my cylindrical aspect also horizontally this going this way all right this going this way okay then this going this way okay so after i drain that the next thing is for me to pick my pencil okay down to this area i'm going to what ticking my line right here like this okay then at the back here i'm going to what ticking it from top to here to bottom from here down here like this as you can see okay so after that what's the next thing for me to do 
So you need to be careful. You need to be careful. Very, very careful. Okay. So the next thing is me projecting. Sorry. So I'm going to uh, project this from here. Okay. Down to this level here. Yeah. All right. So then I'm going to what? Pull this to this area right here okay like this as you can see right there on the screen okay then i'm going to what, pull this down here like this as you can see right there okay so then i'm going to what, uh pull this from this junction okay towards the top like this all right then close it right here okay so then i'm going to uh, make this be hidden yeah just here like this and like this okay then it will be hidden right here hidden then this will be what hidden from here then to here Okay, the area is also what set to. It is what set to. So what's next? What's next? Yeah. Okay, the next thing is the top. The next thing is this hole here will be what hidden on this view. So I'm going to what make this what hidden. All true. Then what? Eden. All true. Can you see that? Okay, so I'm going to project this area also. We had this line ends here and ends here, which is this and this. Can you see that? I'm going to project it horizontally like this also. So then, which means what? This area is going to be what? Eden. All true thickness of 12 right here okay this is what eden here okay and this yeah yeah it will be eating right there while this area will also be what be eating to that level so that is it right there so i think we are true cross check cross check yeah we are done okay so that is the projection of the object on the screen in what in first angle automatic projection so this is a locating bracket which is part of a machine component okay so this is the front view complete front view this is the complete plan and this is what complete end view so kindly ensure you subscribe to this youtube channel and also refer to your friends who might be in need of it thank you I remain Uluwa to be blessing. Olaliko.